seeing you when you're on the wing in the company of that man, or he's always in the company of you. But that's no. because that's what you're looking for. The only full-time member of staff um, on the unit who's a female, which does have its drawbacks. I know there's still bad feeling between you and McAllister, and a lot of that surrounds Brenda. Yeah, I know that. I've been trying to take the edge off it. Well, it's different here. It's uh, mind games. Oh, come on. It it's is. It's mind games. Game. It's, all, it's all nice. You see in the morning, when you get up in the morning, you're walking down the stairs, <laughs> there must be about 20 officers that says good morning to you. It's never more to than see 12. The response, <laughs> what response they're getting. Sorry. Arthur, let's go to the second unit. Let's go to the second unit. One of A-Wing's inmates is returning today from the segregation block. He's an ex-heavyweight boxer serving two and a half years for burglary and assault and three and a half years for assaulting staff at Hull. On the day he went to the block, a restraint team with helmets and shields stood by in case of trouble. But the special unit's officers persuaded him to go quietly. All right, yep. Now, in an extraordinary move, they've successfully appealed to the Board of Visitors over his punishment, and his solitary confinement has been reduced by eight days. Paul Sykes was disciplined for abusing a prison works officer who came into the special unit. Later, the charge was quashed. As soon as I got here, I said, you must keep the screws out the main nick from coming in. Well, I said that for a reasonary. I know what vindictive <laughs> some of them are. And I am in the nick now for belting a screw here. Well, two screws here. And if they don't keep out that, if they don't allow to wander in, I've got no protection. Are you with me? Now then, the screw's coming out the main nick, gone in the office, Paul Sykes has hit me. Three days later, I'm nicked for assault. I said, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Go ahead with it. <clears throat> Go ahead with it. You put some kind of game it is. I don't know what kind of game it is, but I'm not playing. I'm watching through the window, and I see the board of visitors come in. Four of them. Two of them had done my parole application, did my parole application, and the other two have strolled about the wing when it first opened, wandering about, smiling benignly, and saying, like, uh, how lucky you are, what lucky chaps you are. 
and I've given them all a coating, every one of them give them a coating, told them that they're here to protect prisoners' rights. That's what they're there for, to see the system doesn't trample on them. That's what they're in the, in the, in the job for. I said, everywhere you go, this statutory rights is being obliterated. And what does he say? And when it was the Minister of Prisons, he said, it's not our policy to let inmates know the rules. Well, I know the rules, yeah. And they should know the rules and they should make sure that the system plays to them. And I've given them all a coating. These are the lots that's now coming in to try me. The charge isn't assault now, it's abusive and threatening language. Oh, yeah. So I thought, yeah. So I've written it out now, my statements. I deny all allegations and the days have gone when a, when a screw could... Uh, say you've said something or done something, he's got to have some proof. And the governors can't say, well, if he said you were riding around the landing on a motorbike, I'd want to know where the petrol come. Them days have gone, all that carry on. Yeah. So I've written it all down and it's a straightforward bylaw case dismissed. Paul Sykes has hit me. If it had have happened at school, when it happens at school, and they run to the teacher, Fred Smith's hit me. Just have a look at him. No marks, no anything, just, well, go and hit him back then. That's what they say, yeah. And that's what they should have said to him.